Seat Traco. This is the largest SUV in Seat's lineup, sitting above the Arona and the Ateca. It, with its sharp and distinctive and clean lines, actually looks quite muscular on the road, which can't be said for most of its rivals. Full LED headlights come as standard on the front and the rear of the car, and specify excellent trims are above. You also get some more gloss detailing on the front side and around the back, which gives it a more premium look. The interior of the tracker is actually a really pleasant place to be. Really good and premium feeling materials, which gets even nicer if you specify excellence models with nice little badging here and down on the tread plates down here too. There's also a really nice squidgy soft touch dash that's also continued onto the door panels as well. And there's also this brushed metal inlay effect across the centre of the console, which adds a little bit of class to the interior. It's also a really, really intuitive interior too, with climate control buttons, which means you don't have to take your eyes off the road for too long. You also get a large central infotainment system, which has really good and accurate navigation, which can't be said for most cars, which is really clear display. So you can also view your car, information such as your range, fuel consumption, and there's even a lap timer. Yes, yeah, a lap timer on an SUV, and of course your radio, media and everything like that. Every tracker also comes as standard with digital displays which can be easily customised able to display what you want from your media to your navigation. They're really clear and easy to read as well. There are a couple of really nice features in the tracker's interior such as good storage with these pop-out cup holders which adjust to the size of the bottle so it holds it nice and tucked in space. You've also got more storage there and also massive door bins which are also felt lined which means that things don't rattle around in there either. The gear stick also feels really solid when you clunk it into gear so you know exactly which gear you're in. The adjustment on the driver's seat is also really good from both height and backwards and forwards and you also get a really commanding view in this car which is what you want from SUV and with the pinch lines coming in the bottom it's actually re reasonably easy to see where the corners of the car are and visibility out of the mirrors and through the rear view mirror is actually really good with the lots of glass areas and minimal blind spots making it easy to manoeuvre on the motorway. The rear seats of the tracker are really well thought out similar to the front of the cabin. We have loads of head and leg room even in the middle seat, with only a little narrow transmission tunnel to, squab to squabble over. However, the footwells are really nice and large, which means there's space for everyone's feet. As standard, you also get three zone climate control, which is controlled by these very quality feeling buttons down here. And there's also two air vents, USB input and a 12 volt socket as well. There's also some tray tables here in the back with pop out cup holders as well, which is great for kids. There's also a centre armrest, which is really padded and great for long journeys, and also a couple of cup holders in there as well. There is one little bit of a shame though, which isn't too much of a big deal, is the fact that the hard, scratchy plastics back here aren't the same variety that they are the soft plastics in the front, which does seem a little bit mean on a car that costs from around £30,000. The seats can also be adjusted, slide back and forward to allow extra, extra people in the third row. A great unique feature to the Turaco is a standard fit of seven seats. Now they may only be small and suitable for kids and young adults on a shorter journey but it's really nice to know that there. And you, this can't be said for the Skoda Kodiak as you have to pay extra to have seven seats fitted. So I really like that. This being an SUV it's really important that the Seat Turaco has a large and spacious boot perfect for family life. Now it rises up via an electronic operation and um, it reveals with all seven seats in place a reasonable amp ample load space with only a slight little lip to worry about however that's all forgiven though because underneath that is your parcel shelf so it's really good to be stored away the two rearmost seats are easily folded away just by this click of the button and you just push them forward just like that and they fold completely flat to reveal a really nice wide and flat low bay. There's also some nice tethering hooks that fold out here and there so it's perfect for large loads 
The fat middle row of seats is also folded down because he's pulled the two levers here so you don't actually have to go round and yank them forward which is a really nice touch. The buying process for the seat Traco is really really easy as there's no options available so you literally pick your trim, the engine and the colour and you're sorted. A really good feature of this car is how metallic paint comes as standard. So this is the Atlantic Blue and it's one of many options and it's really nice, it's a really rich and flavoursome colour and it really shines out and glistens in the sun too. This car also comes with full LED front and rear lights as standard. And it also adds to the style and modern effect. This is incorporated into the reflective strip that flows across the centre of the rear. Another really good feature of this car is how the Traco came with a full 5 star rating, safety rating from the Uren cap. Now this is common in this, this class of car, but this Traco got exceptionally high in adult occupancy safety rating at 97%, which is very similar to some of the most safest Volvos that are on the road. Of course you get standard safety features such as autonomous emergency braking, which scans the road ahead for any oncoming pedestrians or cars and also fully emergency brake for you if you don't react in time. From a passenger perspective this Seat Tracker is a really nice car on the road with comfortable seats that come with lumbar support on both the driver and the passenger and the armrest in the front and the rear and also the generally feeling of composure and a lack of body roll going around corners which is something that can't be said for quite a lot of SUVs. This slight trade-off for the good handling though is the ride is a little bit bouncy over certain speed bumps and potholes but generally it's nothing to worry about as it's generally a really comfortable car. Prices start from just over £28,000 here in the UK. That'll get you a Traco SE which comes relatively well equipped with things like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto rear parking sensors, alloy wheels and also seven seats as standard and of course the full front and rear LED headlights. Step up to SE technology which isn't much more expensive and that gets you navigation and rear privacy class. Now this car you see here is actually the excellence model which gets extra chrome detailing, reversing camera and also 19 inch diamond cut alloy wheels. There's also the excellence Lux, which we don't feel is worth it upgrade as that gets you leather seats and which are heated in the front and the back. So then the Traco is safe, quiet, comfortable and extremely practical and that also comes with the added peace of mind that this is a really safe car so yourself and your family is really well protected. So that's why we think this Seat Traco is a brilliant car to recommend you take a look at if you're looking after a seven seat SUV.